So the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo finally released and what can I say, Square baby, you're gonna kill it when this game comes out. When I was out at PAX this past weekend, I was lucky enough to get to try a portion of the PSN demo we got the other day. In my first time sitting down to play the game, I had it going through my head that, okay, Namor made this game and I've seen all the trailers, I'm pretty sure this game plays a lot like Kingdom Hearts, right? I've got this in the bag. <laughs> but boy was I very quickly mistaken. The battles have a lot of intricate uses for the buttons that did give me a bit of a need to adjust to along with the unexpected battle difficulty. Actually, you know what, I won't say the battles of the game are difficult but rather challenging and something I understand that I wasn't going to get the hang of just by rushing in swinging. Which is also another fact to bring up about this game is that making use of your defense options is super important to pay attention to and understanding when to use them will either be what wins you the battle or leaving a battle having more near death experiences than you can count. Causing you to question the fact that you're really getting wrecked this bad by the game's first boss? It's funny because I say that coming from my own experience fighting the scorpion boss inside of the Marco reactor. Sure I was getting messed up out there but I had a lot of fun fighting it. Understanding that I did struggle, along with the fact that the real wait for the game to release has definitely begun now, it's gonna immediately push me to go back to keep playing the demo until I find the right button layout and settings that work for me, and so I can hurry up and give it to these noob shoes. Veering away from the topic of the battle system and technicalities, I do have to say of course that I love everything that I'm seeing about the direction that this game is going so far. I really like how cinematic the music feels and how it all plays it to each other. It's kind of like how in Final Fantasy XIII 2 where you had your normal field theme and then you have like an aggressive mixed version of that song that plays before the battle starts. In Final Fantasy VII Remake you'll have your normal field theme and then you have a battle theme version of that song that appears with enemies around so it's, it's kind of cool. It doesn't ever feel like a downgrade or a disservice to the old songs from the original game. Which of course can happen when tampering with memorable music and something that I felt the effects of from certain songs and something like Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2 remasters or to a greater effect in Final Fantasy X HD's OST. In cases like that, I often would find myself switching over to the original score, and though that's not a possible option here in Final Fantasy VII Remake, but even if it was, I don't think I would, because I feel like the new soundtrack is very much quintessential to bringing the remake to life and to feel the way that it does. So yeah, the music is A1 stuff, but man, are those visuals something. And most importantly, the same goes for what they've been doing with the characters and their interactions. It feels like they took a page out of Final Fantasy XV's book, but just refined everything about it. Everything just ends up feeling so natural with how the characters interact in cutscenes and how they talk in and outside of battle. It did take me a bit in the beginning to get used to the idea that they might have changed the voice actors from the ones we've been used to hearing for years, but I think they sound really, really freaking good. Cloud for example still sounds like Cloud. But I feel that he has a lot more range than he's ever had the chance to have elsewhere, except maybe for Crisis Core. But yeah, the characters sound good and boy do they look good. Square's own luminous engine made Final Fantasy XV look really good, but it hampered its development. And I'd like to think that after seeing all that has come out of Final Fantasy VII Remake so far, it's easier to guess that they've had less trouble achieving what they wanted out of Unreal Engine 4 as opposed to whatever hurdles that they had to jump with Luminous. I think it's also easier to receive assistance from Epic themselves and integrate new people into the project without them having to learn some internally developed engine that they'd never touched before. It's crazy to look back and compare this game to the Final Fantasy VII PS3 tech demo from back in the day or heck even just looking at the 2015 PlayStation Experience trailer. It's clear to see how much love, care, and attention to detail has gone into trying to make this game look as absolutely best it can on PS4, and to be honest, I've got a hand it to Square because I think that this game encompasses all the aspects of a Final Fantasy game that they have actually been trying to give us since Final Fantasy XIII was announced because they was trying to go with a battle system I guess that was more similar to what we've seen action-wise from Advent Children, but they just couldn't really find a way to do it. I don't know, a lot of crazy stuff was happening with 13, but even with 15 it was crazy. But they finally got it with this game, and it's really great to see how far it's come, and I'm just, I'm blown away. I can't wait to see what more that we get from this game come April 10th. I just hope in the end they release this big mega art book that details everything that went into the remake, and 
potential stuff that was possibly cut from the final products and I don't really care as long as it has like Nomura art I'm buying it up I'm buying it up in RB we've already seen a lot from the demo and trailers us obviously a mere fraction of all that we have to look forward to when the game releases early next month but even then if you already have a PS4 now and are able to download the demo and for some reason you're on the fence I say definitely go and do that because honestly you're missing out big time if you haven't given this game a chance yet but hey since you've made it this far why don't you share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss out on any bare boy goodness and I'll catch you around in the next video. Laters.